But I think people cheat because of themselves. I don't understand why people cheat, though. You don't understand why people cheat. That's I comforting to hear. I think people are unfaithful just for pure opportunity. Sex is fun. If you're not with the, the right person, um, you could you could feel like you're you're alone with them because they they're not you know, they're just not right for you. So not that's not applicable to this situation. But, uh. <laughs> I think the moment when you stop sort of communicating about the things that are bothering you is sort of the moment that you're giving up. What do you want me to do? Kiss me. Just kiss me. So we're at the end of week two, and uh, where are we at? I think that I've lost you. I think that some stupid indiscretion has cost me the most important thing in my life. The shape of the play is coming together. We, you can start to see what, what the piece is going to be. There, it felt like this. Okay, so this is my apology. Yeah, yeah. For the, my indiscretion. It was less conscious. Yeah, yeah. And so, but I also I actually did feel like I could go on. You look tired. <laughs> Something wrong? I wasn't at work today. Oh? Where were you? These characters that we meet, they're each uh, trying to embark on some kind of affair or liaison with the opposite partner. I met a man. Don't go on. No, I need to tell you. I think you absolutely can be lonely in relationship. You know, maybe maybe the grass is going to be greener somewhere else. Maybe this person will give me what I need or make me feel the thing that I want to feel again in my relationship. Sometimes the lies you find yourself falling into, not big lies, not about having an affair, but like the little lies, which are uh, sort of self-preserving. Am I supposed to say something? Say something! Did you fuck? The play <laughs> is, is, is an incredible challenge. That smell. Smell. <laughs> it smells like, like the sweat of another woman. I get to work with, you know, four extraordinarily talented actors and watching them be challenged by this piece is just, you know, it's incredible. So for me at this point, I was just making sure that they stay brave, stay bold, and you get to just watch watch what happens when they do that. It allows yourself the freedom of like, when you're, you, when you're yelling at the guy to just fucking like, give her. I, I think for Phil, he is striving for a kind of experience for the audience that feels very alive, very, um, dangerous you bastard <laughs> <laughs>